Okay, I'm going to demonstrate how to do the wiring for these pins here. It's not the world's easiest thing, but I've learned some little tricks to make it a little more manageable. I got 55 millimeters about of uh, 22 gauge stranded wire. And I've found that if we just take off, if we just take off about two millimeters of the insulation from the end, very tiny amount, um, it helps keep things a little tidier. So I just stripped, you know, barely anything off of the end of that. And then I'm going to try to tin the end of that without melting the insulation. So I got the soldering iron turned up pretty high. Um, and I'm, you know, soldering is the art of three hands here. I'm holding the solder and the wire in one hand and the soldering iron in the other end, on the other hand. So I'm heating up the end. Uh, just um, tin that a bit. Now it looks like I melted some of the insulation, so I'm gonna clip that with my flush cutters. And you know, then I got barely anything on the end there. Good. Um, then I'm gonna tin the pin that I'm going to. I'm using the red wire, so I'm gonna um, tin the red pin. It gets a little dicey in there with all the wires, so I found it makes it easier using the same colors, um, using the colors for the colors um, and keeping track of them. I'm placing the the wire um, flat against the board and to the to the right of the pin, and then I'm gonna sort of heat up the pin or heat up the wire and nudge it into place. And then we got like a nice solid connection. You know, I'm pulling on that pretty hard. And it's not taking up very much room. Um, the part where it gets tricky is like going in between. Like I got to get another wire in there and there, and I don't want to bridge them or short them. So it takes a little practice, but you'll get it.